Hey guys, welcome to the year late 2012 Space Prize. <laughs> that confuses everybody, but this is the 2012 Space Prize. Because these are the books that were, were given to me last year in my nice pile that I get to take home every year, which is wonderful. Uh, so uh, we'll start off with the, uh, the web comics. And third place web comics was for the, the, the comic verse from Awakening Comics, uh, Bianca Almar and Steve Peters. And see, you see here? Oh, there you are. Yeah, with the yes shirt. <laughs> but uh, comic verse is a neat little web comic about a comic shop on a space station. So, so well, I, I guess Bianca isn't here. No. Congratulations. I got him yeah. on the wrong side. She asked me to say a couple words. Okay, cool. Well, please do. She said, thanks to Space and everyone who voted for the comic verse. Uh, <laughs> to Steve for being a brilliant artist and co I did not write that. <laughs> <laughs> who makes the comic verse possible. To all our readers, my family, my husband, for all their encouragement and support. And she thanks too. All right, thanks. Second prize, it's Smoke in Your Eyes by Mari Naomi, who isn't here today. It's, it's, uh, uh, let's try to think who it's called. John, John Porcelino was supposed to pick up her box here. But, uh, uh, yeah, the Smoke in Your Eyes is kind of a series of small, uh, short stories that she did online that are all related to smoking in some manner, which is kind of neat. It's been kind of the common theme throughout the whole. whole uh, Thing. So, so I will make sure he gets the plaque for her. She's our first, I think the first time somebody won plaques in two categories too. So that's kind of neat. And she's sorry she's not here right now. I can give you other back and forth a little bit. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and next, oh, first, first place webcomic is an extra scroll by uh, Katie Alaska. I know I, I killed that. Yeah, but. Place 
winner for two years in a row now. <laughs> but this year, he's, no, he's the first, so it's, it's, it's kind of well-deserved. His is the most educational mini-comic I think I've ever read. He's, he's uh, exploring uh, all the different aspects of, of storytelling through, through a conversation he had with one of your professors. So it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting read. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Bob. Uh, I, I really want to thank Bob for putting all this together, not just the award ceremony, but space two. This is such a tremendous outlet for so many of us uh, as creators. And now as a, I'm a teacher, my students are coming here, and I see other uh, students and teacher teams out here. It's really inspiring. So thank you for continuing to do this for 13 years. Let's give Bob a hand. We'll be back later. We have an edu comics education panel where we've got I don't know how many four or five colleges involved, different different people from different schools. So that would be interesting. And, and you guys need to take that because I probably won't get it. <laughs> now we're moving on to the, the general category, uh, which up till this year and including this year, uh, 2012 has been like everything that didn't fall into web comics or mini comics by some arbitrary number I picked by page uh, a few years ago. But because there's basically any standard comic kind of fits in this cor uh, format and also any of the large graphic novels, which is really somewhat unfair to people who are doing a regular size comic and you know, maybe a monthly comic or a, you know, uh, just a 24 page uh, thing. So, so next year, because we've got some contributions to the Space Prize Fund, we're going to expand out to, uh, to have a fourth category, which we'll call in the graphic novel category, which really isn't necessarily graphic novels, but just anything that's more than about 56 pages. I think we're cutting it off. 56 pages, you're still in general. If you, if you go past 56 pages, you're in the graphic novel category. That, that ought to level up the playing field a little bit. And we, we can hopefully will continue to uh, you know, increase the, the number of different uh, different prizes just to give people some recognition and, and uh, you know, give everybody a chance within their own niche, uh, a chance to win. So we're moving on to the general category, and the third prize is uh, Wild Child by Mariana Walfin, uh, who did it under the pseudonym M. Young. basically an autobiographical story of all her relationships from 
yes, zero through 22. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, one thing I admire about people who can write bio and stuff like this is it's very brave. Like I couldn't do that, but it's just an amazing book, and it's, it's uh, you just got to read it. So, so, uh, so we'll get that to her. I think John's going to get it to her. And then um, something I, I haven't told anybody for a long time. Uh, two years ago, but. Mr. Chrysler, Bruce Chrysler brought uh, Steve Willis here on his own dime. I, I tried to share the share the load with him, but he would have no part of it. So I said, "Well, Chris will do what 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 modern corporations do. I won't give you a pay increase or give you any money, but I will give you a title." So we've made Chris the uh, official historian for space. The re reason for this is he's also given, I don't know if you've been to a lot of his panels, but he knows everybody in, in the comic book industry and in the small press. Almost everybody. Almost everybody. <laughs> well, you don't know, you're going to meet today. <laughs> but he knows almost everybody. He's given many panels here on the history of mini comics and, and, and all kinds of you know, small press stuff. And, and we appreciate that because you know, we've got a very long heritage of, of, of this kind of thing. And we want to keep it going. And, but we also want to look back and, and see where we came from, you know, back in the, 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 the uh, mimeograph days. <laughs> three, you know, I've been involved in both ends, <laughs> and mimeograph and, and web comics. We, you know, so, so uh, Bruce, come on up. And since since we were making them a plaque anyway, we also are going to give them the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award for uh. space. So, so it didn't cost me another cent to do that. So <laughs>